Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Your Name. It's me, Ella. Today, I want to share with you my summer seasonal yarny YouTube hop <laughs> item for summer 2023. So this is a collab that was started by Kim the Crafty Nomad and now a bunch of people, like I can't even list them all, there's a bunch of people <laughs> who participate in it. I try to participate in it, but sometimes, like last year, I think I only did one because I had a new baby last year. So I was kind of busy. <laughs> And this year she's still making things hard but i have done the spring one what did i make for the spring one i don't even remember <laughs> i made something and then i um i did the summer one i'm not gonna lie i had like what two and a half three months to do it i just fit, did it last week because <laughs> i am a procrastinator i am very good at doing that um but i did get it done so i actually really like my project like i'm actually going to use it and i'm excited about using it because one it's functional and cool, I think. <laughs> and two, it's very, very colorful, and I love colorful things. Uh, hence my little area right here. Anyways, so I'm going to show it to you and share it with you and all that stuff. And then I want you to go. There's a playlist in the description box below the video. Check it out, and Kim's going to put all the people, or maybe we have to do it. I don't know. If they're all going to be there. All the people who participated. So go around to all their videos and subscribe to the ones you like. Like the videos, comment on them, share some love, get some good ideas. <laughs> And um, then come back when it's fall time to do the next one. But yeah, so my pattern that I use, it's a free slash paid for pattern. It's free on the person's website, but you can also, I think, purchase the PDF, you know, it's without ads. But um, I just used a free version because I don't mind ads. And I was just doing it on my phone while sitting in the living room, so. But it is called the Rue Water Bottle Bag. <laughs> and, oh no, I forgot to write down who it's from. I wrote the pattern down, but uh, I'll pop it up if I can remember. Uh, it called for sport weight yarn, which I don't really carry a lot of. I have like one bag up here of smaller yarns that was gifted to me that I do use to make like ornaments and little things like that. Um, but I didn't have any sport weight, the amount that I needed. So what I did is I found in my stash yarn that I needed to use up anyways. I had a whole ball and a, like a scrap ball of this line brand ice cream cotton blend. I got the ball band here. <laughs> really pretty yarn that my friend Phyllis sent me a couple of years ago i wanted it really bad it wasn't in my joanne and then she's like hey i'll buy you some so she sent me some and then it just sat around i did use half of a skein for something that i can't even remember now <laughs> so i did have a full skein and like a half of a skein left this is a number four worsted but it's a thin number four i think personally and it's 225 yards each and the, the color that i used is called rainbow because i love rainbow colors although this isn't true rainbow because it doesn't have red in it but it's like bright colors anyways so I did have a scrap ball that was about this big <laughs> and then I ended up having like this big left. So her on the, the designers, you know, the information about the pattern, <laughs> it says it takes between 300 and 350 yards of support weight. I use this worsted weight that I feel like it's thinner, way thinner than worsted weight, probably closer to a support weight <laughs> personally. Um, I used about, cause the whole ball was 225 and this is about how much I started with the scrap ball cause you know, I was wanting to use up the scraps and then use the ball. <laughs> I should just use the ball probably, but so it, I think it took a little over a whole ball. So this is 225. So I'm going to say out of this particular yarn, it probably was less than 300 yards, but uh, you know, to be safe, it might be better to buy enough to be over and just have some scrap. So I do have this much I can totally use to make cute amigurumis or something like that with. So I'm going to be saving that for sure and using that because it's beautiful. But anyways, I love this thing. It turned out so cute. <laughs> you guys ready? So this is not just a water bottle holder it also has a pocket on it meant for your cell phone which i think is great because i need to get back into walking <laughs> i have gained a lot of weight since i had my baby <laughs> but uh, we're not gonna talk about that but i do need to start walking for my health my heart health and just i'll enjoy walking outside i love hiking and stuff like that so this was perfect for me because i could carry my water bottle and my cell phone and maybe also well my, my car keys are on a lanyard so i just i just put them on my neck but i just love this it's kind of, okay so here's the water bottle blah, blah, blah. water bottle why can i not say that <laughs> portion i got the big old what does he call them san andreas fault <laughs> i'm really bad like i will watch videos on how to make that line up perfectly and then i'll do it for a couple projects and then i'll just forget and then i'll just get all crooked but you know i'm most people really don't care and i purposely when i did the handle i made that the part that's going to be up against my body <laughs> so no one's going to see that but it's this really beautiful print i should have brought a water bottle in here i'll get one to take pictures of and then i'll insert pictures at some point but you start at the bottom you make like a circle and then you use really cute i think it was called the x double crochet 
I think I've also seen some people call it like the cross stitch. I'm not sure, <laughs> but um, it's just really pretty texture. And then you do some uh, third loop only, which gives it this nice little like almost knitted effect. And then you just kind of do that. And you can customize this easily to fit your water bottle. Like if you have a favorite one that you use. Um, me, I usually use either disposable ones because I know it's bad for the environment. <laughs> but uh, we also do have some reusable ones that are, they're like 20 something ounces. Uh, it would fit in here because I, I, I grabbed one the day I was making it and stuck it in there and it would it definitely fits. And then the handle, the strap. Now, uh, they have a certain size that you make it. But I, every time, I did like 10 rows and then I tried it on with the water bottle in it and my phone so that it would be weighted down already. Because I didn't want it just hanging on my shoulder. I wanted it to be a crossbody. That way it's not slipping off my shoulder while I'm walking. You know, I'm trying to pull it up every five seconds. So I did um, custom make the length, I guess you would say. And then you do some uh, edging just to make it look pretty. And it does stretch because it is crochet and this is cotton. This is cotton blend. I forgot to say that. It's 47 cotton and 53 acrylic. So it's got a lot of stretch to it. But I tried it with a full water bottle and my phone. So it's perfect. It lines right at my hip the way they should. And it's crossbody for me because I wanted it to where it's not sliding off my shoulder. And then it's got this cute little pocket. Cell phone pocket, which again is super easy to customize. It even says on the pattern to, you know, keep putting your phone in there to try it and make sure it fits. Or your wallet or whatever you plan on carrying. I have this cute little wallet my friend Phyllis <laughs> sent me also. <laughs> and it, it would fit in here behind my phone. It, with my, I just keep like my debit cards. Um, insurance cards, driver's license, you know, little things like that in it. Uh, so it slides right in there with it. So I keep all my stuff right there on me. So I don't have to leave anything in the truck, you know, to get stolen. But, and then <laughs> I don't have many buttons, but I found this one in my stash that my sister gave me. And I thought it went because you know, it was like vibey and summery and then a oh, watermelon. So it's just a cute little watermelon button that I used yarn to sew on there. It's got a little flap there. And then the cell phone would go in there. And I just love it. I'm going to take some pictures. How am I going to take some pictures? Because I used my phone. <laughs> I'll have to get one of our old phones because we keep all our old phones like weirdos and stick in there to weigh it down and water bottle. So I will, if I did that, I'll be putting the pictures up here. I'm not a model and I'm a little self-conscious about my body. So don't judge me. <laughs> but I just love this. I was making, at first I was like, well, I don't know if I'm going to like this. Because a lot of times I don't like crochet bags because of how saggy they hit. I tried to make, um market bags before because we like to go to our farmers markets on saturday mornings and we get a lot of produce there we usually buy a lot of produce um but they get you know like you can only put a few things in there before they're like practically sagging the tra the ground um with just like some cucumbers in it you know and we usually buy a lot of cucumbers and peppers and uh potatoes if people have them you know because i love fresh potatoes and green beans and all that stuff and by the by the end of it my bag's like about to pop so I guess I need to make a bunch of them. But it also comes down to the handle. Like even when I was making this, I considered using the stuff that I use for um, the cotton webbing that I use to make tote bags. I considered sewing that on there because I knew that would be sturdier. It wouldn't stretch. This would stretch with the water in it, but the handle wouldn't. But actually, I was like, well, I'm going to give it a try. Because <laughs> I know the uh, border stitches here will help keep it from stretching too much. And I tried it on, like I said, with it full. And I liked it. So I guess I'll have to actually use it on a, a walk a, a walk i was trying to say walk and hack at the same time and then i can actually give it a full judge then <laughs> but i really like this pattern you know it's kind of a weird thing you know a lot of people don't think about making like water bottle holders <laughs> but uh it's handy for when you're on a walk because then you don't have to carry you know your water bottle and your phone in one hand and everything's sloshing and you're dropping stuff because you get sweaty or at least i do <laughs> and uh so now i will have it crossbody because I, I specifically wanted it crossbody it looks a little tight right now, but it's because it doesn't have the weight of the bottle. But once there's like a 20 ounce water bottle in there and my big old heavy phone, <laughs> it'll weigh it down and it gets like hip length. And like I said, you make the, um, what's this thing called? The handle? The strap? <laughs> uh, in rows this way. So you can custom the length as big or small as you want. Or you could even make it just really small to hang on something. Like if you are using a bicycle or something, or if you uh, are in one of those little carts, or a wheelchair even you can make it to where it fits whatever your specific need is i like it a lot i'm actually glad i made it <laughs> and i was able to use up a whole skein out of my stash but then i do still have a scrap ball so i will use that eventually for something <laughs> but that is my summer um project for the seasonal yarny youtube hop so i'm happy with it 
So now I gotta start thinking about what to make for the fall one. I don't even know when the first day of fall is. Is it in September? June, July, August, September. October. I bet it's October. Let me go look at my calendar real quick. Okay, I ended up having to Google it. <laughs> but I did find it afterwards. It is September the 23rd. So it's the, towards the end of September. So I got plenty of time if I don't uh, wait till the last minute like I did with this. But you know, this worked up super quick and I enjoyed it. It changes the pattern just enough to keep it interesting. Like you do a few rows. And actually on the phone case, I messed up. I was supposed to do four rows of this uh, cross stitch or whatever. And I accidentally did three. So when I came up here, I went ahead and just did three so it would match. But I don't think that's anything anyone's going to really notice. I want to start looking at this a lot. <laughs> and that means they're too close to me. But I like it a lot. And I hope I inserted pictures. If I didn't insert them, I will try to remember to put them at the end. But I just love this. And I'll, I'll leave it down below. So like I said, it's a free slash paid for. You can get it for free on their website. Or you can purchase it. I think it was $4.99 for the paid pattern. And I just like it a lot. I think it's cute. And I love the colors. I love anything bright and colorful. So, uh, it is called rainbow, like I said, but it's not really like true rainbow color because there's no red. Because it would be red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. But this is pink, but it still counts, I guess. <laughs> Rainbow-esque is what we'll call it. <laughs> so anyways, go and check out everybody else's videos. I gotta go watch them all. And to be honest, I don't think I watched all the spring ones because I was so busy. It's just, life has been crazy. Ever since I had June, I feel like time has went to like double speed i mean it's already the middle of june right now um it's crazy i just feel like time is i was talking to Devin about it yesterday that it feels like time has just sped up ever since june has been born things were like so much more mellow <laughs> when it was just me and jesse during the days you know Devin was working or sleeping um and now that it's me june and jesse <laughs> me jesse and june i guess i should say um it's just crazy and we're flying around and we're busy we've got appointments constantly and we're going places constantly <laughs> And it's just time's flying by and i'm realizing the older that i get i guess as you know i've heard people say it my whole life um how short life is and um that's why i haven't been as busy on youtube and in my etsy shop lately is because i'm enjoying my life <laughs> with my kids and my husband and uh i wish it would slow down a little bit but oh well anyways i'll link this below and the playlist will be down below so check them out if you want to <laughs> and i will see you guys in the video bye guys